and hopefully magic happens. Magic is not happening. What did I do wrong? Okay. Hey guys, it's Alvin. Today I'm gonna be comparing this $50 sous vide machine to this $300 sous vide machine. The good news is we'll be testing them by making one of my favorite foods in the world, steak. We're gonna see how well each machine works, how good the food tastes, but most importantly, we're gonna compare to see if the difference in price changes the difference in taste. As a bonus, we'll also be sharing a nice side dish to go along with the steak. Without further ado, let's open these boxes. All right, we have our first gadget, the Keenstone sous vide cooker. We paid about 50 bucks for this on Amazon. How this gadget is supposed to work, you put this machine in a large container of water and this will circulate the water and heat it to a certain temperature. Sous vide cooking, from my understanding, is about cooking things like meat or protein in a controlled temperature water bath to achieve a even doneness all the way through. It should guarantee very even results versus cooking in a pan or an oven. I think this looks very sleek. I think this would fit very well in a kitchen. There's an on and off button. It says there's adjustments for temperature and there's a time selection. So I like that this is very self-explanatory that there isn't a lot. Pretty much plug and play. All right, first guy just looking pretty good. Now it's time for the big boy, the Anova culinary precision cooker with vacuum sealer. So we paid around $300 for this on Amazon. Anova is a really well-known brand in the industry. Kind of like unboxing an Apple product. Take me to your eater. Okay, that's me. Weight-wise, it feels very similar. It's black, which means it's probably all digital instead of manual physical buttons. I like the design of this too. The $300 we paid for this not only includes the sous vide machine, but a whole another vacuum sealer. Looks like a hole puncher. Vacuum sealing the food into the bags is what helps the food cook more evenly. And also, it comes with vacuum bags. So that's nice that you don't have to go and find these yourself. What it's telling you to do is put your meat like steak in a bag, put your aromatics into the bag, seal it, and then it's ready to cook. This also takes up quite a lot of space. It's more like, we can give you more. You just have to do more and you'll get better food. So we'll see if that works. All right, here's how the experiment is gonna work. I've got two cuts of the same exact steak. I chose a thick New York strip because it's a very even cut of beef. So any differences we'll be able to see immediately. We're gonna be using the same aromatics in each one. We're gonna be using the same vessels to cook it in. I think it's a pretty fair test. The only variable here are the gadgets. I'm just gonna season them with salt and pepper. The steak for the cheaper sous vide machine is gonna go into a Ziploc because it doesn't come with a vacuum sealer. So if you were to sous vide it with that machine, you would do it in a Ziploc. In this Ziploc bag, we're also gonna put some aromatics. We have thyme, we got some shallots and some garlic. Because it's not vacuum sealed, there might be some air bubbles here and there, but I will try to squeeze as much air as I can. This guy gets to go into a fancy vacuum bag. For this one, we're doing the same exact aromatics. All right, so instead of trying to squeeze the air out for this one, we're going to use the vacuum sealer that was provided with the $300 machine. And hopefully magic happens. Magic is not happening. What did I do wrong? Okay. What did I do wrong? Maybe I should have read the instructions. I think I forgot to take out one of the foam pieces. Apparently we looked online, you're not supposed to actually take these rubber pieces out because it produces a seal. So I'm just gonna try that again and press harder. Ah yes, here we go. And then I'm gonna hit seal to seal it. Oh wow, look at that. It's a sealed vacuum bag steak. Just to recap, this is the Ziploc one we did, low tech, pretty easy, just throw it in a bag. This is the high tech vacuum sealed one. So let's go cook these. We have two Cambros full with water. The $50 machine has like a clip on, so it's pretty sturdy. The Anova is more of a screw on. The Anova is nicer because it actually allows you to adjust how deep or how high the machine goes based on your pot. So I do like that. I'm gonna set these to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh yeah, you can see the water's already starting to circulate. Oh wow. This one is significantly louder. That's so loud, Jesus Christ. Okay, that quieted it down a little bit. Now there's a stake to block all the water circulation. This is another benefit 
of the vacuum seal is because it takes out 100% of the air, it sinks and floats all the way under the water, which makes it a lot more easy to cook. So these are gonna take about an hour and a half to do their thing. We're gonna check on the steaks periodically. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys a great side dish that'll go well with any steak. And the side dish is gonna be a great cream spinach. So we're gonna put some butter. Cream spinach is really good and goes really well with steak. I'm gonna go with shallots. Time to add all this spinach, salt, and we're gonna drink it in a strainer so all the excess water can come out. We're gonna make cream sauce. We're gonna make like a roux that'll turn into more of like this creamy milky sauce. This is just some half and half instead of milk to get a little bit more creamy. A little bit of nutmeg, parmesan cheese, then the spinach. Okay so it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna put this aside for now and check on the steaks. So we are about one hour in. Color of the steaks have definitely gotten a little darker. They look very similar in color as someone who has done sous vide before. They're both looking very good, very similar, and well on their way to being fully medium or all the way through. So we still have some time before the steaks finish cooking. In the meantime, I wanna show you guys how to make a compound butter that'll take your steak to the next level. We have a stick of butter. I'm gonna throw in some garlic, thyme leaves, uh, some parsley and some lemon zest. And I think it'll go really well with steak. Put this saran wrap. A lot of possibilities with compound butter. You can use it on different meats, different vegetables. All right, now we gotta do the fun part where you roll it into a log. Ta-da, compound butter log. I'm gonna put this in the freezer for about 30 minutes and see you guys in a bit. All right, the compound butter is setting and chilling. I think the steaks are getting pretty close, so Let's check them out. Okay, we are one hour and 30 minutes in. They're like this deep red gray. There's a lot of juices that have a lot of flavor in them. All right, these look good. I'm going to take these out now. So this is the Anova cook steak, and this is the Keenstone cook steak. The one cooked in the Anova vacuum seal smells significantly more aromatic and flavorful than this one. Right now, the whole thing is rare to medium rare. The best way to make this really taste like a legit steak is to throw it in a hot pan, give it a nice sear, render the fat on the outside, and that'll add a ton of flavor to the finished steak. All right, so now we're gonna throw it into the pan and sear it. Oil starting to shimmer and smoke. So the first one I'm putting on is the Keenstone. It's gonna be on the right side and then I'm gonna put the Nova one on the left side. All right, I'm gonna give you the flip. It's been about a minute or so. I'm gonna render the fat cap on the side a little bit because that's important. Okay, and then they're done. All right, so first we are going to slice the one from the Kingstone sous vide. Very, very, very well cooked in the middle. Perfect, medium, rare. Hard to be, this looks wonderful, wow. All right, now we're gonna cut the Nova. Visually, they look extremely similar. The Dunnesses look pretty much exactly the same, but looks can be deceiving, so we do have to taste them. So to begin, we have the cream spinach already down, and we are going to plate up the $50 sous vide steak. And to top this off, we also have some of our compound butter that'll slowly melt from the steak's heat. This will be the $300 sous vide machine steak. We're gonna top it with the beautiful butter we made. All right, the steaks are all done. I am super excited to eat. I'm very hungry, so let's just eat these things. All right, time to eat. So I'm gonna start with a $50 one. Yeah, that's a solid steak. Cook through. I'm gonna eat it with the cream spinach. Kill a little bit of this butter. That's really good too. This cream spinach goes really well with that steak. Okay, now we're gonna taste the $300 Arnova. Instantly, I get a lot more of the aromas from the garlic of the thyme and the shallot that we put in the sous vide bag. So that is a big difference. These could both be served easily at a restaurant and no one would blink an eye. This is what I would personally enjoy more. Although, I'm very surprised and happy with what the $50 one produced. Okay, here are my thoughts. The $50 Kingstone sous vide machine was all around a great value. It sous vide like how it should. Very simple interface, very simple UI, very easy to navigate temperature. The only downside I would say is that it's a little noisy, but overall very, very, very good value. 
for what you're getting. The $300 Anova Precision Culinary Cooker, very sleek, very modern. I really liked the touchpad. It was very easy to start setting temperature and start going. It did come with a little more bells and whistles. There was Wi-Fi capabilities and did the job extremely well. There was no noise as it circulated the water. And with the vacuum sealer, it wasn't as intuitive to set up and that kind of made things slow down a little bit. It's one of those things where you put a little bit more effort, but you get a little bit more out of it. To compare the final results of the dish, the $300 Nova Precision Cooker with the Vacuum Sealer Bundle produced a steak that was more aromatic and more fragrant than the $50 Keenstone machine, but I think that is because of the vacuum sealer. Is it worth an extra $250 to get the Nova? Not sure, I don't know how much the vacuum sealer is worth on its own, but if you're willing to pay a premium for a better just sous vide experience, whether it's just less noise, ability to use the app, I think that is something that is for you. But if you had never sous vide before and want to just try it out, I think the Kingstone gives you great value for what you're paying for. One other cool thing you could probably do is get the $50 Kingstone sous vide machine and then find or buy another vacuum sealer separately or the bag. So that way you can kind of get the best of both worlds without necessarily having to spend $300.